Welcome to Specific Love. Today I'm going to show you 10 PVC life hacks that are going to make your life easier. If you have a pickup truck and you've ever tried to haul anything small, you get stuff falling down in this gap. Oh, and it can fill it up and it is a pain to get that stuff out. Well, here's an easy way to fix that. Get you a piece of PVC. This happens to be three quarter inch because it fits well in my truck. Cut it to the right size and put it in, in the little gap. And there you go. Now you can rake stuff across and it don't, won't fall in that gap down there. If you're ever training anybody to drive for the first time, it can be a little nerve wracking. Well, I have a good suggestion for you. First, go to an open parking lot and then take a couple things with you. First, this is a two liter bottle with some rocks and debris in the bottom. And I have a half inch piece of PVC pipe here. The PVC slides right into the bottle, like so. And if you have it weighted down enough down here at the bottom, it'll stand upright. The great thing about this is if they're driving around and you accidentally hit it, it falls over, there's no damage to the car or to any of the surface. And of course you can paint this any color you would like, whether you want orange or bright green or whatever, and then you can have a great time teaching them how to drive. If you have a small table and the height is just not high enough, I get a great way to improve on that. I've taken some one and a quarter inch PVC and I attach an 18 inch section on each leg. And as you can tell there, the table is much higher than it was before. Here's a great way to help your plants. So if you take a piece of half inch PVC, cut an angle on one end, put a bunch of holes in it. As you see, the holes are not straight up and down. The angles actually will help distribute the water even better. You then take it and you insert it into the ground right next to your plant. Not only does this help to water the plant, but then this stick will help to be a great support. So there you go, it's a great way to use half inch PVC for your plants. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a basic PVC cane. Now, you'll need to get you some half inch PVC pipe, which is what I have here. If, unless you're maybe a heavier set person or you're uh, probably putting a lot more weight on the cane, I'd suggest probably going with a three quarters inch to give a little added strength and rigidity uh, that you can use. Now, you'll want it cut down to about three feet long. Um, reason why is that is about the average length of a cane and about waist high for a lot of people. You'll also need an end cap to put on here to speed for the ground. You'll also need a 90 degree angle, an additional piece which is about four inches long here is the handle for it. You just put them together. <laughs> Alright, and you can always add some glue in there if you'd like, but there's your basic cane. Here's a great way to store your laptop or your netbook vertically to give yourself more room. All this is half inch PVC and fittings. I have eight of these T's, four of these 90 degree elbows, configured just right. If you don't have one of the larger laptops, you have one of the smaller netbooks, this is great because you can just squeeze these together and it'll hold it tight. And there's a great way to store your netbook or laptop and save room. If you ever tried to take a wheel off of a car and you're using a lug wrench, you have to break loose the nut and then you gotta turn and turn and turn or you take it and you spin, spin, spin. In any case, it can take a long time to get each one of the nuts off. Well, here's an easy way to fix that. This is one and a quarter inch PVC. You slide it over, you break it loose, give it a spin, and it'll come off much, much faster. Now always remember to support a car properly before taking a wheel off. All right, the third and simplest way to make a chicken feeder is to keep your, your three foot tube that you have here and you'll need an old uh, ice cream or yogurt container, whatever you can find. And you'll need to cut a little two inch section out of your pipe here and then you'll take your pipe and you'll drop it down into your bowl here and then you'll bolt it to the bowl and, that, and there you go. Fill up your tube, like so, and it goes right down into your container. All right, if you have a bunch of cables hanging out, get you a piece of PVC. This just happens to be, I believe, two inch, but you can have it whatever size fits. Bundle up your cables, 
slide it right in for easy storage. If you do a lot of work in a garage like myself, you need a great paper towel holder. So here's a piece of PVC being held in with a screw. And this is an old support for a bookshelf. You don't have to use this, but these work great because they're nice and sturdy. Use the PVC, put your paper towels through, and there you go. You have paper towels whenever you need them.